The battleship USS Maine steamed into Havana Harbor in late January 1898. While the United States government claimed the battleship was simply making a courtesy visit to Cuba, the ship had really come to protect American lives and property on the island. Cuban revolutionaries had struggled for decades against their Spanish rulers, who had controlled the island for nearly 400 years. In January of 1898, civilian riots left Havana, Cuba's capital, in turmoil and put American lives and investments at risk. The appearance of one of America's premier battleships bristling with 10-inch guns helped reassure U.S. citizens in Havana. The Maine dropped anchor in the harbor, and its crew kept a watchful eye on the island. But three weeks later, on February the 15th, the Maine exploded in a gigantic fireball that echoed throughout Havana's streets. 266 men were killed as the Maine's three forward 6 and 10-inch ammunition storage magazines blew up. America turned suspicious eyes towards Spain. For years, Cuban exiles in America and others sympathetic to their cause had been calling for the United States to force the Spanish out of Cuba. Those calls were fueled by the press, which often presented Spain's leaders as evil or less than human. When word of the main explosion reached America, some people, including the powerful newspaper owner William Randolph Hearst, immediately blamed Spain. And most of the public believed them. When a team of investigators sent by the Navy concluded that the explosion was the result of a black powder mine, war fever swept across the country. President William McKinley and the U.S. Congress gave in to the public's demands and declared war on April 25, 1898. Within six months, the war was over and Spain was defeated. And the United States was on the road to becoming a world power by gaining Puerto Rico, the Philippines, and the Pacific Islands of Guam and Wake from Spain. But a nagging question remained. No direct evidence linking Spain to the sinking of the Maine had been found. So why had the ship blown up? In the 1970s, the Navy launched a new investigation into the case. Admiral Hyman Rickover concluded that the explosion aboard the Maine was not caused by a mine at all. Instead, the ship sank because of a terrible accident. Using various techniques, modern researchers have confirmed Rickover's conclusion that the blast was probably indirectly caused by a spontaneous combustion fire inside the Maine's coal bunker. That coal fire probably heated the wall of the nearby ammunition magazines, causing the shells to explode. So it apparently was a simple accident that destroyed the ship and set up a chain of events that altered the course of American and world history.